Good day, Philo, said so is back. Today, I just want us to do some revision of Euclidean geometry. Then now, let me just read for you the statement then. O is the center. There's O. A, B, C, D lies on a circumference. Yes, we do have A, B, C, D on a circumference of a second. Then B, O, D, B, O, D. It's a diameter. Then A1 is equals to 51 degrees. Yes, it is given there. Then B1 is equals to mm, 29. Yes, there. Then the reason I draw this is for us to save some time. Then now, let's say if they were to ask us now this question to say, okay, determine, let's say, determine. Let's say one angle O1. How then are you going to determine the angle of O1? Check, it's so simple. This one is a center. You see? We can then see, okay. Uh, let me just write one. For us to find the angle of O1, we can just say angle O1 is equals to two angle A1. Do you see? The angle at center is twice the angle at circumference. Then you can then give a reason by saying the angle at center is equal to two times angle at circumference, like this. You see? Then immediately after doing this, we already have the angle of O1, which is 51. Let us substitute. Multiply by 51 degrees. Then let me take calculator. I pull it about that light. 2 multiply by 51, we get 102. We get 102 degrees. 401. You see? Then now we have money to find the angle of 01 equals to 102 degrees you see the reason i write here is because like i don't have much space i'm going to erase this as we go then now the second question now will be for us to figure out the value of angle a2 see now how then are we going to determine the angle of a2 Bear this in mind. We have a diameter which is B O D. You see? And A is a point where on our circumference. We can then now say uh angle. Uh, let me write somewhere here. Angle A1 plus angle A2. Both they are equals to 90 degrees. You see, somehow they are subtended by the diameter. You see, that angle is going to be equals to 90 degrees. But the reason that we normally use is this one. Angles in semi-circle. See, we know that our A1, they gave us to be 51. You can then say 51 degrees plus angle A2, like this, is equals to 90. At this point, we can then say angle A2 is equals to 90 minus 51 degrees, which now is going to be, let us take our calculator, 90 minus 51, we get... 89 degrees you see now we have 89 for a to let me write 89 degrees over there you see then let us proceed now we need now to figure out the value of angle d how then are we going to figure out the value of angle D? Sorry, I don't have much space. As I said, let me erase. 
the value of angle D. Let me see three. You see, we have a triangle A B D. You see this triangle. We already know that the angle of A is going to be 90. They gave us B1 to be 29. Then for us to find D, we can just say angle A plus angle B1. You see? Plus angle D equals to 180. You see the sum, sum of angles, sum angles of of triangle you see then the value of a is going to be 90 degrees plus the value of b1 we have 29 degrees plus angle d which is known unknown see for us to find angle d we take 90 and 29 to the right hand side like this 29 degrees then we are going to get angle d then it's 180 minus 90 minus 29 then we get 61 degrees for angle d then we have 61 degrees for angle d you see then now as for number four, let us figure out the value of angle A, C, A, C, O. You see, I won't have much space. Let me just erase. You see? Then, now we need to figure out the value of angle A, C, O. You see? some way the value of angle c1 we need to figure out the value of angle c1 then now in order for us to figure out the value of angle c1 firstly what are we going to do is we know already né? we know already that angle o1 is equals to 102 you see the value of angle O1 is equals to 102. The reason I don't write there, I don't want to make it messy. You see, the value of angle O1 is equals to 102. Then we can then say, since OC and OB, they are ready, these two angles, they are going to be equal. You see, check. For number four, angle C to will be equals to angle B2. The reason will be angles opposite equal radii. You see? Like this. Immediately after doing this, we can then say angle O1 plus angle, let me say C2 plus angle B2 is equals to 180 degrees. The reason is sum of angles of triangle like this, you see? But we know that these two, they are going to be equal. We already showed that. Then, O1, as we said, is 102, yes? 102 plus angle C2. Let me write another angle C2. It's equals to 180 degrees like this. Then we take 102 to the other side. It's going to be 180 minus 102 like this. Then we get two angle C2 like times, you see. Then let me take a calculator. 180 minus, sorry, 180 minus 102. We get 72. Let me just divide by 2. We get 89. See? Then now we have sorry then now we have angle c2 to be 39 degrees you see somehow here we have 39 here we have 39 b1 we have 29 angle b angle a1 is equals to b sorry 51 degrees 
in order for us to find angle C1, which is ACO, we can then say, uh, we can then say angle, let me write ACO, which is C1 in this case, ACO plus angle C2, like this, plus angle B2, plus angle B1, then plus angle A1. They are going to be equals to 180 degrees like this. Why? I don't have much. Sum of angles of a triangle. See? Then our A C O is unknown. Let's write A C O like this. Plus C two. C two we got thirty nine degrees. B two is equals to thirty nine as well. Degrees B one is twenty nine. Degrees A one. A one is fifty one. Degrees is equals to one eighty degrees. Let me add all these angles. We have 30, sorry, 39 plus 39 plus 29 plus 51. We get 150, 158. Then AC O plus 158 degrees equals to 180. For us to find this angle, we can then now take this number to the other side. It's going to be 180 minus. 180 minus, let me put it here, minus 158, we get 22 degrees. You see, we have managed to solve these four questions. I thank you, fellow, and enjoy.